Pendo's Resource Center gives your end users the power to find answers or guidance on demand. Here, your end users can activate in-app walkthroughs whenever they need help completing a process, receive feedback on individual onboarding progress, and even access custom content and integrations. Let's proceed into the Pendo application, where I'll show you how to build a resource center customized to your users' needs. To get started, admin should proceed to Guides and then Resource Center in the Pendo navigation. Then click Create a new resource center. As you can see, there are different ways for you to craft your application's resource center by selecting a variety of our pre-built modules or sections. The guide list serves as a holding place for users to access any guides which you believe they may find helpful. The sandbox module is entirely coded and can be completely customized to your specific needs. Any integrations that you have configured to your subscription will be made available or accessible here. And finally, the onboarding module. Since my team's top priority is onboarding, I'll choose this one to get started. As you can see, Pendo has created a default draft of the Resource Center containing an onboarding module. Any changes I may wish to make to my Resource Center must be made in the draft version and then promoted upward to my staging and production environments. First things first, I'm going to add some custom content into my onboarding module. There are three walkthroughs that I'd like to make available to my onboarding users. While we call them walkthroughs internally, I'll update their display names to appropriately reflect the outcome of each guide. Then I'll also reorder the guides so that they display in my desired sequence and save. Additionally, I only want my onboarding module to be available to the newer users of my application, so I'm going to adjust the segment of my module so that it only displays for onboarding customers. Note that if any of the guides contained within my module have more specific segmentation, then those particular guides will only show up to users who meet those eligibility rules. Now that I'm done configuring my onboarding module, I'll add two new modules to my resource center, the guide list and the code sandbox. I can configure the guide list just like I had the onboarding module, so I'll do that quickly now. And voila, it has guides. As for the sandbox module, however, it contains custom HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So in order to edit its content, I must launch into the designer so that I can see my changes actually execute live on my application. Once I'm here, I'll add some custom content to my satisfaction via the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript editor. I'll also go ahead into the home view while I'm here and edit the colors of my resource center so that I can be on brand. I'll also edit the display titles of some of the modules. Finally, I'll go ahead and update the activation badge to my desired color and icon. Note that I can also apply a custom image and edit the z-index if it makes sense for my site. Now I'll go ahead and save my changes. As you can see, when I'm saving my changes, they're refreshed over to the Pendo side. I'll proceed there to review the draft and push those changes upward to my staging environment if I choose to do so. In this case, I'm alerted by Pendo and told that I don't have a staging environment, but I'd like to proceed anyway. Once I've reviewed my changes there, I can push to production and now see this resource center made available to any users 
who meet my segmentation criteria on my production website. Note that as soon as your Resource Center goes live, a switch will be made available should you have to turn it off temporarily, but you can always turn it back on again, of course. I hope this video was helpful and enjoy creating a Resource Center for your end users today.